The operation today was um, in order to deal with drug dealing activity in the north of Edinburgh, um, specifically to deal with groups that have come in from out with Edinburgh and sought to establish a foothold and establish a drugs market in Edinburgh um, and to make sure that that doesn't happen. This is the culmination of um, a number of months work, six months work on and a lot of effort on the part of a lot of people uh, not, not just within the police force but also our colleagues in the council and health services in order to get to where we are today. This is the early part of an enforcement phase um, targeted at people dealing class A drugs, uh, predominantly crack cocaine on the streets in Edinburgh. Um, some of those people are people coming from out with Edinburgh, come from the north of England and elsewhere in the UK who've perhaps mistakenly um, thought that Edinburgh is a place where they can establish their criminal network um, and the operation today is the start of that very clear message that they absolutely cannot do, do so in Lothian and Borders. We have seen an increase over the past year, we've seen an increase in recoveries of crack cocaine which is indicative of an increase in the market and equally as important as this enforcement activity is all the work that goes on all the time to actually reduce demand for drugs, not just for crack cocaine but for any drugs. So in tandem with this operation we have officers going into schools and talking about um, drugs and giving those prevention messages and also colleagues in health who will give the harm reduction messages too so that people who are caught up in this um, addiction who might have uh, difficulties for taking their supply away will, will be um, managed as far as any health implications go. The contribution that members of the public themselves make to these sorts of operations absolutely can't be underestimated, that we really depend on people living in the streets of Edinburgh um, to actually report, whether that be via Crime Stoppers or to their local police station, um, anonymously if they if they choose um, to report the sorts of things going on um, with drug dealing or anything that they're concerned about and from those little pieces of information and other intelligence gathering um, we can start to build a picture of what's actually happening on the street um, and from that then uh, develop that intelligence into evidence that brings us to where we are today. This is part of an ongoing um, activity in, in the police and partner agencies all the time. Um, some of that time it might not be as visible um, as I've described. We've, we've got a lot of activity in the background that culminates in an enforcement day like, like you're seeing today, but this cannot be separated from the kind of day-to-day -day experience of people living in communities in Edinburgh, that it is all part of a spectrum of policing uh, demand police, police work uh, and at its heart has to be community engagement, um, finding out what the problems are in communities and doing something about them and being seen to uh, make a difference and that's what we're doing today.